This is a LiPo battery and this is a LiPo charger. Charger, like the name implies, is designed to charge the battery. Almost all modern LiPo chargers also have a function of the discharge. Chargers usually have a very limited discharge current. One, maybe two amps, and that means that discharging a reasonably sized 1.5 amp hour 6S battery will take you like one, maybe even two hours. But what if you have more batteries that you want to discharge? That can be quite a time-consuming task. During my review of the Gens Ace iMars Dual Charger, I mentioned that this charger has a feature called external discharge, thanks to which, if you have the external discharge device, you can discharge a LiPo much faster than with the rate of one, maybe up to two amps. Unfortunately, back then I had no external discharge device. Today, I have one because I built one. Without further ado, this is the device I built. If it looks like a do-it-yourself extravaganza, this is because this is a do-it-yourself extravaganza. Internally, this is an extremely simple device. Those four are the high load resistor. Each of those has a roughly resistance of 4 ohms and each is capable of dissipating around 50 watts. 4 ohms each, 4 connected in parallel, that means that in total the resistance of this battery is around 1 ohm. Like I said, it's around 1 ohm because when measured the multimeter shows around 1.05 ohms. That means for each volt applied to those 4 resistors, it will pull approximately one amp from the source. Additionally, resistors are connected with the M3 screws to the sheet of brass and I installed a small fan to cool it a little. Yes, I know the fan is probably slightly too small, I should improve it and put a much bigger fan into it, but even in this setup the device is capable of pulling approximately 5 amps without overheating. And if I'm careful I can easily go to 6 or even 7 amps pulled by this thing. But then you do have to monitor the temperature of the resistors because they are getting toasty. How to use it? Well, extremely simple. First, we have to have the discharging device. Then we have to have a charger with the option of usage of the external discharge and the battery that we will try to discharge to a specified level. So, step one. Let's connect this thing to the channel A on the Gens Ace Arimars Duo. Then let's take a battery. I will be using the 4 amp hours 4S LiPo I got years ago from Hobby King. And let me connect this thing to the main input on the charger. Let's select channel A and let's choose the option of the external discharge. Unfortunately, the charger is not auto detecting the number of cells of the battery connected over here. So you have to inform the charger. In this case, we have 4S and we would like to discharge this battery to 3.7 volts per cell with the current of 6 amps. By the way, the fan in this setup is auto starting because it's connected via the step down to the input of the resistor battery. So as soon as the charger starts to put the voltage on the resistor, the fan should start rotating as well and providing some cooling. Yes, I know the fan is too small, but this is what I had, so this is what I installed. Right now, the charger starts to give us some basic information. Right now, it's pulling 6.1 amps, more or less what we demanded, with the DC input of almost 15 volts and currently it's outputting around 90 watts on the discharge device. And the discharge device is already starting to be very, very toast. I have a contactless thermometer, so let's start measuring how hot this thing gets. 106 degrees Celsius. So do not touch it and do not leave it without the supervision. You don't want everything to burn. 129 degrees Celsius. By the way, the base is printed with nylon, so I hope it will be enough. This video 
was created thanks to my Patreons and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. If you want to see more videos like this, then please consider becoming one for as little as 2 bucks a month. In theory, this setup is capable of discharging up to approximately 12 amps. If you would like to discharge faster, because the charger theoretically can discharge up to 15 amps, uh, you probably would have to add much more resistors so the total cumulative power of this, the heat dissipation on this device would be big enough not to burn everything immediately. Plus there is still a limitation that the discharge current depends on the input voltage etc etc but discharging fast this time it's absolutely not a problem and it's cheap. You will find the link to this kind of the resistors in the description of the video. What do you think about a device like that? Drop your thoughts in the comment. Let's have a nice discussion on the topic and you know, engagement. Nailed it, YouTube algorithm has no chance. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying.